Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Goodreads app to read books. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you start using Goodreads here and what is Goodreads? Well, Goodreads is a platform for bookworms. Like for example, if you want to uh, keep track of what books you want to read or just basically share your opinion or review on specific books. Now in this case, Goodreads here works like Facebook. Like in this case, you could share your thoughts, even add friends, and even keep track of your books. So in this case, for us to get started, let's go ahead and open up Goodreads here. Now, there are going to be different sections that you could view here on Goodreads. Now, in the Home tab at the very bottom here, as you can see, we have Home, My Books, Discover, Search, and more. Now, each of the tab here has their own use. Like, for example, the home page here would contain all the feeds regarding what the people you're following, your friends, and the people uh, that you want to keep track of. Well, in this case, I've just followed this user here, and as you can see, they have, a, or they actually have a review, or they have a specific review here, and you can all see their progress on that specific book. Now, in this case, if you want to uh, add a like or add, add a comment, you can go and click on just like or even leave a comment if you want to as well. Now, in this case, also in the feed section, you should be able to also search for books. Now, at the very top, you have the title, order, uh, or ISBN. In this case, you could also utilize the picture option here, which in this case, you could even take a photo of the book that you have right now to search it on Goodreads in here. Now, you should also see your history here. So in this case, this is where you'll be able to see all the scans that you did on the app itself. Now, at the top right, you have the notifications. So in this case, it would contain all the notifications, any messages or friend requests that you receive on Goodreads. In this case, if you want to view messages, click on messages. And if you want to view your requests, you should be able to go to requests here. In this case, maybe I want to search for a very specific book. Like for example, let's go ahead and search for Dante's Inferno. Now from here, let's go ahead and search for it. And as you can see, we now have Inferno by Dante Alighieri. In this case, if you want to uh, basically add this into your reads, what you need to do is you just need to click on want to read here and it's going to be added into your want to read section. But if you click one of the books here, as you can see, we have the following option to actually click on the name of that specific book. Now this should show you different information about the book, like for example, the illustrator, the author itself, and also if you want to read it and have a preview or get it, get it in other stores. Now you should also get the description or the book description as well, the uh, number of pages, the published date here, and I, the ISBN in here as well. Now if you want to actually view the reviews that this book actually had, you could go ahead and view it. As you can see, there's going to be a lot of mixed reviews for this one. Yeah, so at the very bottom, you also have the option to view books by other uh, by the by this author. Our readers also enjoyed if you've enjoyed this book here. So yeah, so in this case, if you want to add this on a specific tag, you can go and click on the drop down button here, and from here you have the option to add this to your currently reading, or to your read book. Now in this case, if you already read your book, you should be able to add this into your read, uh, read section here. But if you want to create your own tag, you go ahead and click on create new tag here and basically create your own tag. So if you want to add a, a very specific or customized specification on this book, you can go ahead and do that as well. But in this case, let's go ahead and go back. Now from here, let's go ahead and go back to the main menu here. Now, what are the other things that we could do here? Now, the great thing about uh, viewing a Goodreads here is you also have the option to view authors. Like for example, this book, The End Has Come, you can go ahead and click on the author name here. In this case, we also have the editor and the following options. So let's go ahead and click one of the names. Now, you should be able to see the author profile here. And if you want to follow the author, you can go ahead and do that as well. So you should also be able to see different books by, by this author if you want to further read into the uh, publish or the, the books that they actually publish. In this case, let's go and go back to the main menu. Now, in this case, at the very bottom, what are the other options that we can actually access? Now, we could also access the My Books section, Discover, Search, and more. Now, My Books would contain your books. Like for example, this should contain yourselves. So if you, uh, for example, you have the red section. So I actually add this, added this book into my red section since I've already read it. 
Now, in this case, if you've, uh, for, for, for example, currently reading a book, you could go ahead and add them into currently reading. Or if you want to read a book like what we did before, we actually added this into the want to read section of our account. But, but yeah, so in this case, in this case, you should also be able to add tags or shelves if you want to. And also reading activity here if you want to. Like, for example, edit your favorite genres, Reggie challenge, or you can uh, Kindle notes and highlights. Now, we also have the discover tab here. So discover tab from the name itself allows you to discover different books that you might be interested in. Like for example, featured list here, like the best books ever, books that everyone uh, should read at least once. And if you want to read more or view more of those, you can go ahead and click on show more list and you should be able to see different lists that you might want to check out. Now in this case, uh, from the name itself, again, you'll be able to discover different books and even discover interests that you are not aware that you're actually interested in. In this case, you also have the search option. Now, search allows you to further search for books. Well, for example, you've forgotten the title. You could eat, you could just basically browse the following categories like art, biography, business, uh, chiclet, children's, Christian classics, and a lot more. Now, it's quite similar to Discover here, but it's more on the search side here. Like, for example, if you're looking for something more specific like art, if you want to view, uh, read books regarding art, you can just choose the art category here as well. Yeah, so in this case, we also have the more option. Now, the more option would contain uh, more uh, settings regarding your account or just the general uh, settings that you have on your Goodreads. Now, the My Profile section here would contain your profile. Like, for example, if you want to edit your settings here, you go and click on Settings. And from here, you should be able to change a few things like Settings and App Interface Language if you want to change those. In this case, the default language is going to be English, but again, you can change this to a different one. Let's go ahead and go back in here. So I want to switch this back into English. Now from here, when we go to settings, you should be able to change your account, your profile and privacy and interest base at. Now for example, if you want, you want to go to account here, you have the option to update your login and security, your connected accounts, or even delete your account if you want to. Now, if you choose profile, you should be able to edit your profile, like your display name, your gender, birthday, location, profile URL, your website, or the about me section of your profile. In this case, there are going to be a lot of things that you could do here. Let's go ahead and move on to the other sections. Now, friends would contain all the friends that you have. In this case, you need to share your contacts here for you to actually find friends that is already in Goodread. Now, if they are in Goodread, you'll have the option to add them. So if they if they are not in Goodread yet or in Goodreads, uh, you won't. You, uh, you have the option to actually invite them in the app and basically be buddies in the app itself. Now, you could also search for them if you're like, for example, you have a lot of friends here. You could even search them via the search contacts by name or email section. In this case, you could either use the name or email of that specific user to search them in your contacts. In this case, you also have the following section. So this is the people that you're currently following. So if you follow someone, you also have the follower section if people are actually following you. By the way, to follow someone, you just need to click on the follow button that you see there, which is a mark or has the icon that, uh, that looks like a bookmark. But yeah, so in this case, we also have the group section. So if you belong a, to a specific group, this is where you'll be able to see it. You also have the reading challenge here. So for example, you will be able to edit your goal. So the first thing you do here when you actually create your account is to set your goal. So if you edit or if you want to update your goal, just click on edit goal here and change the amount of books that you want to read for that here. Now, if you want to view your past challenges, just click on the past challenges option. Now in this case, what are the other things here? Now you could also view the giveaways here. So sometimes others actually give out or publishers actually gives out uh, different giveaways. Now, in this case, if, if it's actually available to you, this is where you'll be able to get it. So if you've uh, entered giveaways, again, you should be able to see it in here. Also, you have the top picks for you. So if you want to get picks, so the top picks for you in section here would depend on what you'd like on what uh, and what you've added to or uh, want to read. They would actually suggest you different books here. Now, from here, we have best of books here if you want to get or view the best of books of last year or 2023 here in my case. We also have the option to scan books, easily access settings here, or and if you want to ask for assistance, you could choose the help option here. Now, from here, you could go ahead and start using the app itself. So, using Goodreads here is actually pretty straightforward and pretty easy, but in this case, that's about it. 
So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.